Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers, welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. In between episodes, I cut down a few trees. This whole row, up to this field anyways, is now cleared. And I tried a couple of these trees and uh, took care of them. I just found a limb that I didn't get, get rid of. It's been a little difficult. Uh, the way these trees are on the hills and, and, and whatnot, uh, the stump grinder sometimes can't get down low enough. So luckily I kind of remembered an old trick to where I use a front loader basically to push the back down like that which gets the stump grinder way down. Yeah, I do realize you can lower the stump grinder like that. That still wasn't low enough for it. So yeah, I had to use the front loader like this to push it down to get it far enough. So yeah, you do what you have to do, right? All right, let's lift that all the way up. Lift that up as well. So a few things we got to do today. Uh, we're in the third day of spring. One of the good news is... Newses? <laughs> Some good news is that the grass is now grown in the sheep and cow pastures. So we don't have to deal with grass for the rest of the season until uh, winter arrives. So we got that. And I don't know if I can actually go through here with this. Uh, nope, I don't want the lights on. I want to change to the front so I can raise that up higher. Make sure I'm above the fence post. I'm going to hit a few trees coming out of here. Yeah, see the sheep are laughing at me already. But we need to get to fertilizing our grass field for one. Is my logging trailer up here? Yes it is. I was uh, getting kind of frustrated with the, with the stumps that I kind of forgot where everything was. But uh, we made some cash by cutting up those trees and bringing them down. Selling them up. Uh, thank you to the Volvo and the logging trailer obviously. There we go. Uh, so what we need to do is... There you are, Mr. New Holland. So the one thing I've been kind of neglecting a little bit... Uh, let's see, grass. We got to show the grass. Uh, this is growing. Uh, what about fertilization? has one fertilization on it, so I need to get over there and get another one on there ASAP. And then we got to head down to the cows, give them some power food so they can keep producing milk and uh, you know, manure, both liquid and solid. It is good now that we got fertilizer storage galore. Seed we will have as well. We may have to go down with a tanker with our production, get some more liquid fertilizer, bring that down. Uh, the one thing I need to do, because I have already forgotten, uh, take a quick check on the chickens. Uh, ooh, yeah, we need to, I need to take care of them today. <laughs> All right. Uh, the health is going to show zero because I just logged into the map. Look at that, 237 eggs already. Wow, can you imagine if I had like a thousand chickens? Uh, what's the ground temperature? The ground temperature is still kind of on the cool side. So we'll get to seeding these two fields at some point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot to do in this season. Uh, this is our second season. But a lot I would like to do to get it the farm up and going. Uh, I've been kind of working on those trees, obviously, to get that into one field. Uh, I was getting kind of frustrated with a couple of stumps, and I realized, uh, how about if I just do this? And I was like, oh yeah. That's how to get rid of the stumps. I knew that. Alright, so hopefully, if I zoom out here, this is a different fertilizing stage. Okay, yes it is. 
So we're going to fertilize our grass field today, obviously, because that's what we're doing. Uh, then I want to run down and get the cows their power food. And also make sure we got enough power food uh, in the mixer. We may go ahead and fill up the mixer and let that start up again and get producing. Because now, jeez, oh I almost said I got 200 cows. We got 20 cows now. So we need twice as much food. Yeah, that's great math, isn't it? I think so. And uh, with the money going up like it is, I've been kind of teetering on the thought of just going ahead and buying the seed drill. So we don't have to cultivate the fields all the time. The fields are already cultivated for this year. But it would be nice to get the... It's the horse, I believe, right? For like 90 grand. The problem is we really don't have a tractor powerful enough just yet to, to handle that. Since we only got two more fields of seed, that's the only thing I'm like, well, yeah, I'll put that on course play and let this guy handle it himself. We only got two more fields. See how it goes. We don't need the seed drill this yet, but you know, I, the problem is that we've been buying a few things lately, you know, and now it's like I'm in the mood to buy things. It's fun to buy new, bigger equipment for the farm. To make to make farming more easier. You know the old saying, don't work harder, work smarter. Yeah, so that's, you know, we've got to keep that motto on our farm as well. But now that I kind of figure out the stump problem I was having... <laughs> You know sometimes you have a problem in your face and you just can't figure out how to frustrate you. Then when you figure out how to do it, it's like, really? It was that simple? I, all I had to really do was just do that and it fixed the problem? <sighs> but the farm is coming along very nicely in our early second season now that we got our bioprocessing plant producing auto fertilizer. So we shouldn't have to buy any more of that thanks to the cows. Uh, we'll produce more seed now because we got more cows. So I do have to check on the seed master, but I do believe we got plenty of seed for our two fields that we have. Now also what we could do with the extra money we got is buy more fields. Of course with more fields means more crops, means more income. So I got to kind of figure out, you know, what can we, should we buy more small fields up here? Or start saving to buy that big grass field down there, because once you buy that big grass field, we can, you know, cut that for grass, nothing but grass, and bring that to the processing, uh, uh, the BGA, and start selling silage. I'm just think at some point we'll have a bigger fertilizer, but this this little fertilizer is doing just fine for what we need. Our fields aren't that big yet. But by the end of that season, those four fields will be won. But that's one thing I have to keep also in mind, that I don't have a plow at this point either. We sold the plow. After we plowed our fields, we sold that small three meter, three meter plow. Everything that we start with on this map is three meters. And we're slowly going to get rid of them all. The cultivator we should need for nothing. Once we get the right seed drill. But I do have to start thinking of what to plant in those two fields. So maybe we'll do that just as soon as I bring this back. I think this might be the whole field. Alright, how does that look? Looks well enough to me. So these two fields are also in the second stage. They just need one more stage of fertilization. Uh, I got all season to do that. So, uh, so these two fields here. Uh, let's see here. Let's just go. I got to take the grass off because I'll just drive us nuts, won't it? Uh, so we could plant a few things. I was thinking actually soybeans this time. So if we go to seasons, soybeans, 
Wow, ground temperature has to be 55 degrees. So I'm thinking both fields will just do soybeans. It does give us some time to fiddle around with the farm and get things underway. So right now we can plant wheat. Uh, poplar and grass, don't care. Oat and rye we could do, but we kind of did that last year. So this year I'm thinking just soybeans. We only have a couple days uh, to plant those. Uh, yep, so nothing to plant for a while, which is fine. we got plenty of work to do. But someday this little new holland will have to be sold as well because these fields are just going to get bigger. Or we may just hang on to this little guy because this is, is one of the starting machines that you get. We can hang on to this guy and he could, fer you know, he could fertilize. But he won't be able to handle the equipment that we'll have hopefully in seasons to come. I also said in spring I want to head back up to forestry and start planting some trees because trees can be our friends up there when you need, need cash just go up and cut down about five trees go out and sell them you got and all of a sudden you got a whole bunch of cash with you Actually, I got thinking, did I sell the plow? No, we got a plow. What plow do we have? Okay, so I, I, I thought I sold the plow, but we still have it. Alright, that's fine. Uh, and I parked a new Holland right in front of our truck. Here, you can just park right there for now, buddy. You're good to go. So now we gotta hook up the grain trailer. Well, I just parked everything in the way. Actually, what I need to do is strap that log on because no my luck, it will fall out. Here, you can have that whole bay to yourself. I feel like I just fed these chickens though. I don't know if they're going by the seasons mod or not. It should be like every three days, but I don't... It's my first time using the mod, so I'm not sure if they have their own feeding frenzies or what. <laughs> don't have to get down and take care of the moo cows. I'm beginning to think another trailer wouldn't hurt either. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I keep having to bring this trailer. When I would need the trailer down there, it's up here. When it, when it's down there, I need it up here. It's, yeah. it's getting to be like that. But, you know what? It gives you work to do. It says, yeah, enough for three days, but it seems like they're going through it faster than that. Now the other thing we also have to keep in mind is with the sheep, as you hear them over there, they're doing us a big favor by producing a lot of wool. So I'm hoping uh, within the next day or so we have a great demand for wool. I think that might be coming up because we haven't sold any wool whatsoever. Eh, don't run into the stump cutter. Lower the bridge. So now that I kind of figured out the, the trees up in that field, in between episodes again, I'll get working on them, cut them down, sell those as well. I think you've seen me do enough lumbering in those two feet, well, those four fields. And it's a little bit more relaxing when I'm not recording, trying to log them and get them in. Those those fun trees to cut down. But 
I am loving my Volvo truck. Just like an American truck sim and Euro truck. I love my Volvos for some reason. Don't ask me why. I just do. But also having a truck that, you know, a vehicle, I should say, just a vehicle on a farming map that you can get around really fast. Uh, you can hook up anything to it and not have to worry about it. Can it pull it? Can it do this or that? Now, the only thing that I might buy is I have a modded trailer that can hold 200,000 liters of grain. Uh, it might struggle on that. <laughs> so... I'm thinking 8,000... Oh, nope. I keep forgetting the mixer's not here. I'm thinking 8,000 on the power food. Now, the only thing about power food is I don't really have a silo to stick it in. I do have a modest silo that'll take anything. So, if it comes to it, you know, I may put that down because when we get... When we start getting tons of cows... Yeah, I'm not quite lined up. Am I not back enough? There we go. Let's go uh, get some happy cows. Yeah, but I was, I was cutting down the trees the other day, I started thinking, so, oh man, i got to fertilize my grass field before, <laughs> before it gets fully grown. We need to make some more hay. Alright, they took 8,000, no problem, so what do they look like now? Wow, it looks like they could take probably another 5? It seems like 40% of the power of food is what goes in there. So I had 8,000 liters I put in, and they're only up to 3 because the rest is considered a silage. I hope uh, that gets kind of changed in FS19. So you can kind of calculate how much you need. It's kind of hard to calculate when it's considered both. Which I don't understand because you load up, it's considered power food. So you think, okay, so it's going to fill the bar. No, it fills two bars. I'm trying to think. I think that silo that holds everything, or even the whole grass. Um, I think it's only like 10 grand. Like that. Boy, this trigger is not forgiving. But then again, I'm backing up like a total noob. That's good, because I want to overfill my trailer. How much we got left? 15,000. All right. We would need silage. We got kind of a bit of hay and straw left in there. Look at the manure they got in there since yesterday already. All right, so they can, they could probably take 13 or 14,000 liters every time they get almost empty. So they're looking good for a while. Uh, the sheep, I don't, I, we're not in the last pallet, I don't think. But we're up to 76 sheep. So the way it's going, I probably before the spring is done, we'll have something like 82, 83 sheep, somewhere around there. And the good thing about the sheep is uh, they're good for hay and grass until winter. Uh, the cows should be as well. So we just have to keep them up on water like we do with the pigs. So at some point we will have pigs. I will. It's one thing in, in uh, Farming Simulator I like to do is uh, take, care, take care of all the animals. Uh, I'll try to say where is my water tanker? All right, so now I'm going to leave the trailer down here, which I'll regret in a couple days, probably. 
Nope, 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 nope. Because the chickens require some water. And this is going to look funny as heck, won't it? Well, it's got water in it. But we're going to top it off while we're down here. Because the chickens take tons of water. I almost hit the Q button to detach it. That thing would have rolled right into the river. Wait, let's go top off the chickens with their water so they can be happy. I'm just glad actually for once I'm recording and it's not raining. <laughs> Seems like it's been raining a lot on this map at the beginning of the season. But that's what spring does. Now, you, if, before I had the Volvo, I used to take jump cuts. Say, I'll meet you at the top and I'll meet you at the bottom. Because it, doing that at 25 miles an hour, it seemed like it took a while. But now, yeah, even the water Bowser is just sliding around back there. I'm going to lose my wheels. Uh, never overtake on a hill or a corner or in a truck around the car, but, you know. So like I was saying before, I'm, I'm kind of de debating what to do with our money next. Uh, come on, OJ. I even thought about maybe buying more fields right now, but it's like, okay, but if I start buying more fields... I said, first, I really do need to upgrade the equipment and maybe get a, a decent-sized tractor for it. Wow, for 100 chickens, they sure do take a lot of water. Alright, we're going to park the water tanker right here. Now, actually, I do have enough money to go buy another... How would you like that look? I just, I did want to turn, but not, <laughs> not that fast. Uh, I wanted to come back up here. Power sliding in a in a Volvo <laughs> Volvo truck. But now I will take a jump cut because now I'm gonna meet. Hey, dude, let me out. I gotta go all the way down to the bioprocessing plant. We're gonna hook up and uh, fill up with liquid fertilizer and bring it all uh, bring it back to the seed master. Just to make sure we got what we need going on there. As I run into that lovely little uh, wooden fence that saved the truck. So, yeah, this time I will see you in a second. Okay, so I know this is not the bioprocessing plant, but I thought, I'm going there. I'm going past the moo cows. So why wouldn't I fill up with the liquid slurry that we do have? I have no idea how much is in here. Not that bad of a melt, but then again, we do have 20 cows now. So I'm just curious, even in, a, okay, now that the cow's health is going up, uh, we sold the milk yesterday, we're up to already 5,000 liters of milk, which is good. The manure is already up to 11,000, but there's always like 5,000 in there. The one way I can, you can get all the manure out is get a conveyor belt and load it up that way, which, you know, in the future, maybe. Because I'll probably have conveyor belts for the BGA, so yeah, why not? I really do need to be riding in cab around this map because the trees so are so close to the road you can't really see the vehicle at times from an upper camera point of view.
And like I said, we could save up our money. And before we buy any more fields up on top, you know, slowly save our money. Actually, I could do a lot of lumbering up in the forestry and get that grass field because I don't, I don't want to say it's only 700,000. But it's only 700,000. We're not, it's, in, as you know, in farming, it's not too hard to start accumulating, especially, I, I'm hoping to get a couple grand for the wool that we have. Maybe at some, like I said, maybe we'll see at some point, you know, we could possibly see uh, a great demand for that. All right, so I'm near the hoses. Now the question is, hopefully I hit the right button. Yep. I'm starting to learn on this trailer where the trigger points are and all that. So now that will get to producing more fuel and liquid fertilizer. And there we go. Actually, it looks like there's quite a bit of liquid fertilizer in there. <laughs> wow, okay. Now the question I didn't think of, because at some point we are going to have so much of it. Uh, can we sell that on this map? Some maps you can, some maps you cannot. No, I don't see where we can. No. Hmm, interesting. Because at some point I think we're going to overproduce. So... <laughs> The fuel I could uh, is something we can sell at the gas station. I got a fuel trigger, so maybe I can look for a mod that set, uh, makes uh, that lets us sell fertilizer, both liquid and artificial. Because I think at some point we're going to produce too much of it. Even once we get the big fields down here, I guess you know we can get a liquid uh, fertilizer sprayer and use some of it that way but we're gonna have so much artificial fertilizer as well actually we can go this way behind the cows but man those chickens are producing eggs left and right no I'm stuck Luckily, there's no damage to the vehicles in farming Simcus. Except with these tight corners, I'd have issues. Alright, so we're just, we were just out about a liquid fertilizer. I don't know how much this stuff actually holds. And I actually kept the tank open all the way here. That would have been sloshing everywhere. Now, the question is, am I close enough? Yes, we are. So now the only thing we're lacking is seed to make some seed. Excuse me, we're lacking grain to make some seed. Let me fold that up. Put that away. Uh, can we sell seed on this map? I don't think so either. No. So that'll be something I look for this weekend. Uh, the seed, I really don't care, but the fertilizers, you know, we may have to sell some at some point. Uh, the wool is going up. If we can get a great demand, that would be flipping awesome. Uh, let me just go up here. Actually, it'd probably be easier if I just did this. Uh, not that. I did this. 
Yeah, so we're on our uh, sixth crate, and I think this will hold just eight. I don't think there's going to be another roll that goes in here. At least I don't think so. But at least if we go in our sheep pasture, you can see grass and sheep pasture is up to 65,000. Hopefully it keeps up with the amount of sheep that we have, because obviously they're reproducing right now, which is great for us because we don't have to buy them. But uh, we got our grass field fertilized, second stage. Uh, we'll sow these with soybeans in a couple of days. Um, I'll continue to try to work it on the uh, trees up in here. Actually, we planted barley. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to make this grass field in the hay on the first one. We have some hay down here, but not, not a whole lot. So you need to do that. But if we just come down here and visit this, because I've been kind of thinking about this. I said it's probably too early. Yeah, 709. You know, we got full rep with this guy. It's the cheapest it's going to get. So it's something that we could do. Uh, maybe not this year, but hopefully by the third season. Once we get this field, you know, you cut the, you cut this with grass and start selling it at the BGA. Uh, it's been a while since I sold silage. So what, is, uh, what does that go for? Or, yeah, that's not, I mean, that's an okay price right there, as it's showing. Some maps are different. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Like always, I appreciate you watching. And uh, we got a good amount of things done today. And we got more things to do, obviously, until we start seeding again. But, you know, we're building up our farm. And someday, this will be all ours. <laughs> but, until next time on the Pacific Northwest, have a good one.